Hi hey everyone, welcome back to Bowes. Um, I'm going to do a short down the Pennine Way today. It's just here on the A66 that the Pennine Way actually does a loop called the Bowes Loop. Um, when you get here on the Pennine Way, you can go in two different directions which both meet up, or you can do what I'm doing now, and which is just walk it as a loop. It's a nice short day, nothing too far. Um, the end of December and it's about 12 degrees Celsius, so it's not too cold, but over here there's a quite a big wind um, blowing, so I'm not sure how good that will be for filming. As you can see, the castle's in a state of disrepair and it has been for a few hundred years. So the site of this castle is on the site of the older Roman fort, but this castle was first built by the Normans. So this keep is actually 12th century and built by the great grandson of William the Conqueror, Henry II. Now the period leading up to Henry II's rule was known as the Anarchy. It's where Henry II's mother and her cousin, King Stephen, pretty much both had uh, a claim to the throne. Um, King Stephen ruled, but it was tenuous at best, I guess. And it was only really resolved by Stephen allowing his cousin's son, Henry, to become king after his death. So Henry II became king, and he was the first of the Plantagenet rules. Um, his reign wasn't too peaceful either. Um, in 1173, his sons and wife led a revolt against him. During the revolt of 1173, uh, a lot of the fighting actually took place on continental Europe. So while King Henry II was preoccupied in France with his rebellious sons and wife, King William of Scotland decided to try and regain some of his former territory and join it to Scotland. So he led quite a large army down. He um, went to Newcastle and um, Foothill Castle, but they were too well fortified, so he, he just gave up and left. Um, but some of his forces did do bits of fighting, um, and this is the site, possibly, of one of those battles where forces of King William, William the Lion, attacked this castle, 1173, and they must have been repulsed and left and it was rebuilt um, a few years later, uh, the following year, in 1174, William the Lion again tried to take Northumbria. This time he had a much larger army, but he managed to split his forces and I'm not sure exactly how, but William the Lion was captured. So William the Lion's attempt of capturing Northumbria failed. One of the things that did happen during William the Lion's attacks on Northumbria was that one of his commanders, the Earl of Fife, went to the town of Walkworth here in England and there was some refugees sheltering in the church of St. Lawrence. 
they, they say around 300 people and the, the Scots set fire to the church and killed the 300 people who were sheltering in there. So that's a pretty black day. remains intact. See this hour slot. Some of the walls up here are still standing strong to say it's been a ruin for centuries. By the, the 1300s it was really abandoned. Don't head to Bowes. They keep going straight on to Middleton. So I think this is quite a worthwhile diversion to do this loop here. So it's pretty cool. But the way is calling, so I'm gonna head on out, start doing some hiking. So this is what the original forts were built to protect. follows the route through Stainwall Gap. This part of the Pennine Way runs close to the uh, Battle Hill firing range. But no firing is taking place today.
just here where the bows look meets the main section of the pine way. trees so you feel very very exposed when you cross the, the moorland and you probably can't see but I'm soaking wet oh, so I have sandwiches I'm gonna eat them I'm gonna get myself warm but I don't think waiting for the the winter stop is gonna help because it'll be dark by the time it's finished Being inside to get me warm, that's pretty cool. I have some extra clothes which I might put on, um, but I'm actually quite warm now that I've actually just gotten out of the wind. That is pretty bad wind. <laughs> anyway, um, cheer myself up, I'm gonna eat the rest of my food. I got some chocolate for Christmas, Christmas was yesterday. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, so I'm going to eat that, wring my socks out because they're damp, I might play a game on my phone while I'm waiting, and then let's get back to my car. Well, I could stay here all night because it's warm and dry enough, but oops, sorry, I've got hiccups. I'm going to keep on going. It's not too bad now. See, it's just the wind, really, that gets to you. Sure, I've not left anything. Well, I've made it back to Bose. Safe. So, I'm going to talk a bit about the castle again. We've talked a bit about the second raid um, and when the Scots attacked. Now, they didn't attack here again at all. The 1300s attacked Yorkshire quite significantly. Um, but this castle saw action during the First Baron's War, which was against Henry's son. King John. If you've ever seen a Robin Hood movie, you've probably seen King John as being the bad guy now. Now he's, he's had quite a, a rough time by exploring some just Now, in 1215, his seal was put on the Magna Carta. It's an important document in British law that limited the power of the king. But King John wasn't really playing ball. He wasn't keeping his end of the deal, even though he'd put his seal to this document. So, with the aid of Scotland and France, uh, a long war was fought. King John had some pretty bad defeats during the war. Uh, he also had some amazing success. Some of his forced march campaigns were whirlwinds in, in, in their speed. But uh, here, at Boris Castle, enemies of his seized his castle and failed. But eventually, the Magna Carta was upheld by Henry III, and it's still considered a very important document today by people. Some people overvalue it, um, but 
a lot of people think it's one of the most important documents in British law and to the British Empire in laws for many countries across the world. The US Archive said that when the colonists rebelled, they weren't rebelling for some new sound freedoms. What they were rebelling for was to try and enforce the laws that had been granted to them in the 13th century. But my hand is freezing holding this camera. Oh, it's ice cold. I'm going to get in my car and drive home now. Take care.